presentation, I'm going to demonstrate how to control devices using your smartphone and Key11 WebIO internet server. Take this lamp for example. Let's say I want to turn it on or off using just my smartphone when I'm away from home, away from work, or simply in the room next door. I'll show you how. Here I've installed a WebIO internet server. This WebIO is plugged into my local Ethernet network, which is set up to be routable through the internet. This WebIO model uses a Powerline communication protocol, which controls devices plugged into AC power, such as this lamp. Being internet routable, I can control this lamp by using a computer anywhere on the internet using a web browser. Here I have a laptop connected to WebIO using Internet Explorer. WebIO has a built-in web server. Here is a web page that lets me control devices over my home power line. Because my phone has internet access and a web browser, I can type in the IP address or domain name to my WebIO to control the lamp. Notice how even with a much smaller display, my phone's web browser can focus on a portion of the WebIO web page. This is because WebIO uses HTML frames. So I can specify a particular frame that I want to see on my phone without having to display the full page. And what's best is that there is no software required to be installed on the phone. You just use the phone's built-in web browser. Also note that a WebIO installation does not require a PC. This keeps WebIO installation simple and reliable. Okay, let's turn on this lamp. I'll go to the WebIO control device webpage and turn on my lamp. Okay, now because this lamp is a two-way communication device, I can have WebIO ask it if it's on or off. Yep, it's on. Now I can have WebIO check the room's temperature. Sixty-five point eight degrees Fahrenheit. Here's how this works. First, my phone is connected to a wireless carrier network with internet access where a route is found to my WebIO using the sign domain name or IP address. My connection is then passed through my internet broadband modem and connected to my network router, where I've configured a port forward to the WebIO's embedded web server. WebIO then sends my turn on the light message by device address to the lamp's power line control module, which then turns this lamp on. This lamp is plugged into a power line module, similar to this one. This module receives messages from the WebIO over the AC power line by address to turn the lamp on or off. And, because this module is a two-way communication device, you can ask the module for its state of on or off. Okay, so maybe a lamp isn't all that practical, but there are countless possibilities you can control or just monitor using the WebIO. The possibilities are endless. Use your imagination. If you'd like to try this out on your phone, just go to the WebIO demo at www.webio.us port 8087 using your phone's browser. And if you're using your BlackBerry, I'd recommend using your Opera Mini browser. There's nothing sillier than sitting back, taking out your phone, and turning off your light. Or turning it on. Or turning it off.